school year is upon us as a lot of kids head back to class this week. And joining me now is Dr. Stephen Webster, who's a family medicine physician at Port of Medical Center. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me, Misty. Appreciate All right, it. so let's talk uh, prepping kids to go back to school, kind of physically prepping them. And one thing is physicals, of course. You want to make sure they're healthy before they go back to school. Going to the doctor can be a little scary. So just kind of talk to us about physicals and what it could entail. Yeah, the time is now. School I, for my kids are starting tomorrow. So a lot of schools require vaccinations and they want some vaccinations. And that's not every year. It depends on the age that some need vaccinations, typically right before kindergarten. Uh, and then going through the whole physical, making sure they're hearing okay, making sure they're seeing okay. Those things are pretty important uh, and they don't uh, often realize that until they go to class and they can't see the board or they can't hear appropriately. So we'll check on a whole bunch of those things and send out the appropriate referrals to get everything checked out. Uh, listen to the heart and lungs, so super important stuff. Okay, and I know a lot of kids also have to have sports or athletic physicals. What's kind of the difference between the sport physicals and just a regular back-to-school checkup physical? Uh, absolutely. Sometimes they can be one within the same, but other times we're going to be asking a little bit more specific questions before sports. You know, there's something that's pretty common or maybe more rare that we look into, like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, something that we make sure that there's no family history of heart dysfunction before they're going out and having rigorous exercise, whether it be any sport for that matter. Um, so same Thing, listen to heart and lungs, asking those important questions about family history and, and making sure that they have all the appropriate markers to play sports. Okay, and you started to touch on this just a little bit with the vaccinations. Kind of, you know, for parents that aren't familiar with it, what are some of the ages, some of the types of vaccinations that they need to be aware of? Yeah, absolutely. I know COVID's kind of the hot topic, but yeah. of course, a lot of the other vaccinations, you know, when we're making sure we're checking for tetanus or pertussis mm -hmm. or diphtheria, those, those are some of the big ones, hepatitis B vaccine. Um, and then obviously we're starting vaccinations a lot earlier, right at birth and even shortly after. So in between that two to five or birth till five years old is the biggest vaccinations, but then there's a couple uh, when they're hitting into junior high and things like that and we have that detailed conversation so that, pay, that the parents are very much aware of what vaccinations and why because um, a lot of times parents don't necessarily know and we want them to be well informed for sure. Okay. And obviously, you know, our kids' health is important, but it's not just the kids. You're our family medicine physician. Yeah. So maybe while we're getting kids in there, getting their back-to-school physicals, could that be a good time to get mom and dad and all the siblings in for their checkup? Absolutely. That's probably the most exciting thing to talk about. In family medicine, we do birth and all the way up till the end of life, right? We cover that whole wide range. Specialists are our favorite providers because we often can bounce ideas off of them, but just getting a checkup. You can be healthy otherwise, but to get your blood work checkup is something simple once a year, making sure your liver, your kidneys, everything's working appropriately. Oftentimes we catch stuff before it happens, right? That's the, the idea of a primary care provider, preventative medicine. We wanna catch the disease before it happens. Otherwise, we can catch it when it happens and take care of it then too. Okay, perfect. 